Okay, hello everyone. I'm Christina Sundhornbot. I'm the author of A Wish in the Dark. And this is my, my friend, my assistant here. And we're also here with my friend, Max. Max, do you wanna introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Max Brellier. Um, I'm Christina's friend, and I'm the author of The Last Kids on Earth series and the new book, The Last Kids on Earth, June's Wild Flight, comes out in April. It comes out April what? I should know the answer to that question, and I don't, but if I check my calendar on my phone, I will be able to tell you that it comes out on the second Tuesday of April, which is... The 12th. I think it's the 12th. I'm crushing this right now. Oh, it's the first Tuesday in April, the 7th. April 7th. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, it's, April 7th. Nailed okay. it. No, this isn't about you. It's about me. It's my book for today. So. You said this is for me. <laughs> okay, so I, I have challenged Max to a draw off because I felt like this makes sense because I am not an illustrator and Max is not an illustrator. No, I have books that are heavily illustrated. Every series, all right. They're all have lots of illustrations and I don't do any of them. And who's your illustrator? What's his name? For last kids, it is Douglas Holgate. Okay, awesome. Yeah, the man. Yeah. So I, I figured that this, I challenged you to this because I felt like it was a challenge that I would win. And that oh, I would win okay. Well. I'm cool. I'm, I think I accept it because I feel like this is a challenge that I should accept because I thought that I would win. So this is here. <laughs> Okay, awesome. So we ask, we ask people on social media to give us suggestions. Lots of kids and their parents sent in suggestions. We have gathered them here, show the bowl of suggestions. We have written them down. My I assistant- You should have put a lot more in to make us look more popular. You should have been like, we have 5,000 suggestions. Well, That's I it. called some of them because they were, I felt like they were too easy. Oh, that one was also, one was inappropriate, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> one was inappropriate, which I didn't know, um, yeah. <laughs> and um, okay, so my lovely assistant, because this is how professional I am, I have a big pad of paper and a, a lovely assistant. You have an assistant. All right. This is Goblet, and I have a pad of paper. It's smaller right. than yours, but still is going to work. Okay, okay. All right, it's going to draw from the bowl of suggestions. Okay, I have multiple color right. sharpies if you need them. So. You guys have to draw a koala bear in a hot air balloon. Oh, Ooh, okay. And how much time do we have to do this, Christina? Well, I, f I feel like a koala bear in a hot air balloon, we should have 30 seconds to draw this. Don't you think? 30 seconds to draw a koala in a hot air balloon. We can do it. Are okay. you ready? Go. Go. All right. Have you, ever, have you ever seen a koala bear in person? I've held a koala bear, Max. You're not supposed to hold them. No, I held it at a, at a nature thing. No, but even then, you're not supposed to hold koala bears. No, I wait. No, wait. I got to confuse with sloths. Never mind. Wait. Yeah. No, it was okay. No, you can hold koalas. You can't. You can't hold sloths. It. <laughs> it was monitored. Ah, what's a koala bear's nose look like? I drew a bear nose. Ah. Uh, okay. Ah! Bear, getting a call from a koala bear during this. Is it back up. <laughs> All right. Stop. Wait. Really? Yes. The timer went off. Okay. All right, ready? There's mine. Oh, wait, better. <laughs> oh, yeah, you added fuzz, and the nose is bright. My, look at mine, he was supposed to be, he's supposed to be holding onto the side. It looks like he's yeah. dancing. It is terrible. Maybe more like a monkey. All right, who wins? I think that Christina wins on this one. I think the Max wins. <laughs> All right, what are we doing over here? Are we doing best two out of three? Um, I thought we were doing best 18 out of 19. <laughs> I set aside four hours for this, is that not? This is gonna be a four hour schedule? long video. <laughs> um, well, I think, no, let's do best three out of five if I just lost the first one. If okay. I won. All right, all right, we'll get, let's go. Because if you then, that means if you win this one, it's done. Oh, yeah, right. Best three. <laughs> so, yeah, I see how you're doing this, okay. Okay. <laughs> This one is a happy hippopotamus. Oh. A happy hippopotamus. I think you guys can do this one. All right. Okay. Easy. Okay. Sir, do you need longer this time? Yeah, I do actually. <laughs> you know what I, I also need to know what a hippopotamus looks like. <laughs> I don't know what a hippopotamus looks like. Tell me about the time that you held a hippopotamus. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was allowed. A keeper was there. Okay. I'm, go. 
Go. Okay. That's a happy hippo. Oh my God. I wonder if, um, are these any of the animals that are in what's it called? The series? <laughs> are what's, what's the combination series? Wait, are they animals that are in a what series? In, um, uh, our, our mutual friend Sarah Monowski's, they, they, they get combined. Oh, oh, oh. Well, yeah, the Upside Down Magic series. What the yeah, heck? I wonder if there's any hippos. <laughs> What's a good name for like a, a hippo and a koala would be a koala potamus? Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Just, it's kind of more of an elephant right now. <laughs> Aren't they, they live, don't they live in like, they live in. Um, they live in. Mud. All right, right. Fine. Okay. Fine. All right. Are you, are you ready? Done. All right. All right. <laughs> what is that nose? I don't know what the bottom of nose looks like. I drew flies. Okay. They feel like they always have like flies on them in like The Lion King and stuff. All right. Okay. I like that detail. All right. Okay, I think that because of the great attention to detail, Max is gonna win this one. All That's right. the first time I've ever been complimented for having an attention to detail. <laughs> the flies swarming around the hippo's butt. <laughs> okay, so one, one, to one. Yeah, one to one. So should this be the tiebreaker? Or I feel like this. More? I feel like this should be the tiebreaker. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. Here we go. Look at this zombie. This is a carrot in a karaoke sing-off with a turnip wearing period costumes. <laughs> Wait, okay, hold on. <laughs> so there's carrot? a carrot and there's a turnip and they're doing a karaoke sing-off and they're both wearing period costumes. Okay, I need right. like, like 17 minutes for this. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do a minute? It's not gonna help you. How about two minutes? Two a minutes? Minute, a minute and 30 seconds. You, you don't want more time for this. It's not going to help us, okay? Just get it over. <laughs> yeah, let's just get it over with. Are you ready? Yeah, I've never eaten a turnip. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Okay. All right. Oh, I don't know which way to orient the carrot. I know, I switched. It. Okay. <laughs> uh, all I'm right. Really, okay, I'm trying to plan it out more this time so that, oh, wait. Oh, jeez. What color is a carrot? Oh, no, I know it. What color is a turnip? What color is a turnip? It's kind of like red yeah. and white. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, period costumes, that's really what's going to get us. What What period? Um, I'm doing the um, early 2020s. Oh, that's, oh. <laughs> OK. <laughs> um, in period costumes. Okay, yeah, here we go. What's, wait, what's this, what, what does a turnip do? Not what does it do. It like, looks kind of like a beat. Is it a beat? A beat, I think. All right. Yeah, that's right. Mine, oh, there we go. All right. How much time do I have left? Um, I don't know. 10 seconds. Oh, okay. Uh, Eight seconds left. All right, my turnip, I gotta say. I didn't know what a turnip was, so I drew a big T with a hat on, with a period hat on. <laughs> All right, ready? <laughs> better, I thought I, okay, so here's the thing. The sad part about this is that I secretly thought I could draw and I was gonna do really good and it was gonna like really do good. But what? It, it, oh, that's not bad at all. <laughs> Except what is the turnip? I didn't know what a turnip looks like, so I drew a T because it stands for turnip. Yeah, that's horrible. <laughs> what costumes are they wearing? I put way too much detail with the microphone stands. Oh, look, we both, our carrots are both in tuxedos. That's cute. Yeah, he's got a little bow tie on. Um, the other one's wearing like a cowboy, like the Walking Dead hat, sort of. and. I, I love it. I want to go to this party. Okay, what do you think? Okay, so I chose this winner because they really accepted the challenge and got every component that was listed into their drawing. So the winner is Christina. Thank you.
page. It's will so be. cool. Yeah, I'll now, give you, I'll give you your money later. <laughs> remind me what this has to do with a wish in the dark. This has to do with the wish in the dark. Ah, uh, because I don't know. I don't mm. know this. <laughs> I wanted to do something fun with my friends. Friendship. That's what it has to do. There is a friendship story in A Wish in the Dark. Mm. All, all of my books are also have friendship at the heart of them, too. And that's why we're friends, because we write about friendships. Because we write about friendship and turnips. No, we draw <laughs> about turnips. So do you want me to illustrate your next series? Yes, yes, I do. I want you to illustrate my memoir. I couldn't even do one of those things where like it's like the whole gimmick is that it's like bad, you know, it's like, oh, it's like a kid drawing a comic book in fourth grade. Like I couldn't even draw that. <laughs> you're not bad. No, you know what? We we shouldn't be like you're you're bad or something like that, because then kids who kids will think that, you know, they shouldn't try or something like that. You have just been devoting your life to the art of writing. You haven't practiced enough, right? That's true. Is yeah. is is I, th I thought that kids shouldn't try was like sort of the moral of most of your books. Is it not? <laughs> yeah, kids shouldn't try. <laughs> That's the message, the theme. No, I, I used to love drawing. And I'm, this is now, now I'm sort of motivated to go draw. Um, and I'm, I, you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna try really hard to draw a turnip and a carrot, having a little karaoke show, carry, carry, what is it? Uh, karaoke. Karaoke, karaoke, teriyaki showdown. <laughs> and I'm gonna post it after you post a video. I'm gonna comment it with my good drawing. Okay, awesome. That was so there you go. And how about we get? How about we give away? I'm gonna give away a copy of my book to people who comment on the video. So oh, that's nice of you. I don't do that. I don't give away free books. I I'll give, I'll give away. You, know, you give the gift I, of your art. You my book comes. My book comes out July. <laughs> wait, no, jeez, April. Uh, the character's name is June, and it comes out in April on April seventh. I only have one copy, but I'm gonna give away something cool. I don't know what yet. Okay. Um, to the winner, you. Yes, that's right. Do people comment? Is that what you're doing? Give away something people comment? Yes. Okay, okay, I'll do the same thing. I'll do the same thing. Yay! It's, it's good, good to see you. Oh, look, there you go. <laughs> Sponsored <laughs> Hope Zero. Um, good to see you. Okay, take care. Bye. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.